Hello, I'm Dr. Colin McGee, consultant, nephrologist and kidney transplant physician in Bowman Hospital. I'm here to uh, talk to you today about COVID-19 coronavirus and its impact on kidney patients in Ireland. One of the main messages to get out to you today is that this is a very rapidly changing area, as most of you well know, and I would um, urge you to look at the HSE website daily for updates. The truth is we don't have much specific information on kidney patients. There, we don't think they're at higher risk of acquiring the COVID-19 infection, but obviously we would be concerned that they could develop significant complications from it. But most of the studies, as you know, coming from China suggest that the, the risks of severe infection are greater in those who are over 60 years of age and have significant other medical conditions. The data we have to date does not suggest that kidney patients are more susceptible to acquiring the virus. Dialysis will proceed as normal, although you patients and their families will be updated if there are changes with scheduling, transport, etc. etc. There may well be significant changes over the next few weeks. It is likely that there will be announcements um, from all the major hospitals about changes and cancellations of clinics. We may well move to much more telephone consultation and long distance management of patients. So expect announcements in this area over the next few weeks. Yes, we would advise all patients to continue with their current dialysis schedule, their current uh, kidney medications and all medications, uh, both now and if they do acquire the uh, COVID-19 infection, unless they are told otherwise by their doctor. I think the main message is here is that whatever your job, you need to practice the um, recommendations, which again are on the HSE website, you know, the safe distancing of one meter, avoiding close personal contact, frequent hand washing, etc. That we think is more important than commenting on specific jobs. Right. We don't have specific recommendations there, but one thing I really want to get across today is that if a patient becomes unwell and has symptoms suggestive of the infection, such as fever, sore throat or cough, we really urge them to call ahead and not present to the hospital or the GP or the dialysis units. I really want to emphasize that today, that they should call ahead. So that means if they're a dialysis patient, they can call the dialysis unit or their GP. If they're a transplant patient or a kidney patient, they can call their local kidney clinic or kidney day ward or their GP. But please, if you think you have been infected or closely exposed to the COVID-19 virus, do not present without calling first. That is an interesting question. And I suspect there will be recommendations and developments in this area over the next few weeks. Um, plans are being drawn up to deal with transport of patients who, who may be infected. And we may well resort to some kind of cohorting of patients or special transport arrangements or, or, or whatever. That, that is being discussed at present. Again, this is an evolving area. If they are sick, they will be admitted to the hospital and treated in hospital. It may well be that um, if they are not sick, they will be recommended to go home and practice as much isolation as is possible. But for now, patients are being admitted to the hospital if they are diagnosed with the infection. But that may well change. No, it cannot pass through a dialysis machine to the best of our knowledge. Not necessarily, but we would advise just appropriate s standard precautions, you know, both before, say, and after needling a fistula. Standard precautions should take care of problems like that.
what I, what I would say is that this this um, plans about whether or not dialysis patients will be moved to different centers or time slots is still that's being discussed at present and we certainly will be I would urge patients and their families to be um, flexible but of course we're mindful and um, that we don't want to cause unnecessary disruption or worry for patients.